didn't know how to word this video for quite some time when I first found out, but I knew that I needed to make this video for my friend and I wanted to share my love of boxing but also my fears about it. Because no matter who you are, it takes a lot of heart to get in that ring and fight somebody. So my story in boxing started about seven to eight years ago. I was fat and miserable in my nine to five job and I just needed to do something about it. But I'm not the reason for this film. I'm just the storyteller. I met this one Geordie kid in our gym. I can't remember how long ago now, but he was such a nice guy. And he started giving me grief pretty much from the off. Like most of the other boys did in our gym, boxing banter is just is some of the best. He came back lots of times and we got to know him better and we all watched a few um, of our boxing shows together and had fun in the gym and messing about sparring and just, you know, just having a good time boxing. And then he uh, moved to join the Sheffield Boxing Centre, but even then we'd still see him at shows and even moved to moved on to turn pro himself and um, a lot of our, our gym guys even went to see his pro debut fight and, um, you know, we all stayed in touch with him and sparred with him ever since and yeah he was just a really good guy. His name was Scott Westgarth. He was 31 years old. On a random morning, Monday the 25th of February 2018, I was checking my Facebook and the first thing that came up on my uh, feed was little Lee Connolly, another Sheffield boxer, saying thoughts with warrior Scott Westgarth who by the sounds of it has been rushed to hospital following his 10 round fight in Doncaster. I must admit I was quite shocked at the time but I didn't know what to think whether it was serious or just something that had happened. So I got in touch with little Lee and messaged several other boxers and coaches that I knew who knew Scotty. Little Lee just said what he'd said on Facebook but no one else got back in touch with me. This is when I thought in the back of my mind this could be really serious. And I went to bed that night thinking about Scotty and hoping he was alright. I got up the next day and I checked Facebook on my phone again. And once again, little Lee had written a status. R.I.P. Scott Westgarth. A true warrior who risked it all and paid the ultimate price. I didn't want to believe it. So I quickly messaged little Lee again and he confirmed the worst. Then lots of other boxers in Sheffield started to update their Facebooks to R.I.P. Scotty. And so did I. The online reports started coming in and the newspapers started reporting. He even made the news on the front cover of the boxing news. But sadly not for the right reasons. I was genuinely heartbroken for my mate and his dad and his girlfriend and his best mate Chris who I'd all met through boxing and thinking of all the fun we'd had whilst boxing together. I really, really didn't want to believe it. I still don't now. You hear about these tragedies that happen to other people who you don't know and you think Poor sod, you never think it's going to be your mate and to further that, one of the most supportive and kind people you could ever wish to meet in life, let alone in boxing. And that's not just me saying that, that's all Sheffield boxing community will tell you that about Scotty, period. So this video is for my mate Scott and his family because I want people to remember him and who he was and how he treated people in life. Like Scotty's mum said on the news, he truly was a joy to be around and he should still be here tormenting us all and winning titles and giving us grief. Like he said himself, he did it for the love of boxing and for entertaining people right to the end. Scott was also on the Ogre donation list and I believe he helped seven people continue their lives. Scott, he finally got to have his funeral nearly three months after his death. And you better believe that that place was packed to the rafters with people who knew and loved him. I'd like to see more coaches and boxers regularly educated so that they're ready and trained correctly when they get into the ring and they've got better knowledge on how boxing affects the brains and any potential warning signs that they should be looking out for. To keep themselves as safe as possible, it's not just about the training and the fighting. And they need knowledge on not being dehydrated or run down just to make weight. It's not healthy it's not a healthy way to fight but i know it's not that simple i've been in the ring myself it's a lot of hard work but these are just the basics and i think we can do a lot more to keep boxers safer these days and we can still improve on getting information out there to new boxers i don't want to see anything happen to my boxing friends i want them to all grow old and grey disgracefully like the rest of us 
If you like this film for Scotty, please share it far and wide so we can all remember the joy of boxing. <laughs>